The world's highest commercial bungee jump is probably the one at Macau Tower in Macau. Suppose an 80 kilogram jumper tied to a 125 meter long hook slot bungee cord falls a total of 233 meters before bouncing back. Find the force constant or the spring constant K of the bungee cord. Also find the maximum tension in the bungee cord during the whole process and the maximum acceleration experienced by the jumper. The 125 meters is the relaxed length of the bungee cord. Again, we will ignore air resistance and friction. This means that the total mechanical energy stays a constant. E initial equals to E final. Where the E, the total mechanical energy, includes kinetic energy, one half mv squared, and the potential energy. And now we have two kinds of potential energy, mgy, the gravitational potential energy, and the one half kx squared, the potential energy stored in a spring. So let's see. At the beginning, the person is uh, up there. The person is not moving at the beginning, so there is no kinetic energy. Whether the person has gravitational potential energy or not, it would depend on our choice of the ground, the reference point ground. The person is going to fall 233 meters down, so it would be convenient if we choose down there as the ground. Don't worry, of course, that is not the real ground. If our ground is down there, that means uh, the person at the beginning is uh, 233 meters above ground. Up high, there is uh, mgy. And uh, at the beginning, the bungee cord is relaxed, so there is no energy stored in the bungee cord. So this is it. At the end, that's when the person is at the lowest point of the fall, right before he bounces back. It's a turning point, so there is no speed, so no kinetic energy. He's down low at the reference point ground, so mgy is zero. Now the bungee cord is stretched, so there is energy stored in the cord. So let's plug in the numbers. The mass is 80. If we use 10 for g, the height at the beginning is 233. And that equals to 1 half k. Now the x is the stretched amount. The stretched amount when the person is here is not 233 meters. Because the cord itself has an original length of 125, so the cord only stretches by 233 minus 125, this many meters. And this will be 108. So if we make these two equal, we will find the spring constant to be 32 newtons per meter. So that's our answer for part A. For part B, we want the maximum tension in the bungee cord. Since for the bungee cord, F equals to Kx, if we want the maximum tension in the cord, we need the maximum stretched amount. The maximum stretched amount happens when the person is at the lowest point. So this will be the K32 times the maximum stretched amount down there would be 108. So the maximum tension is 3,456 newtons. And that's equivalent to a, the weight of a person that is 345 kilograms or 760 pounds. Even though the person is only 80 kilograms, at that moment the tension in the cord is this much. Then we want the maximum acceleration experienced by the person. Now the maximum acceleration should be down here, when the spring or the bungee cord is stretched for the maximum amount. So when the person is hanging over here on the bungee cord, we draw the person's force diagram, 
the forces will be mg, 800 newtons, and uh, kx, which we just found. That's the maximum amount. Upward force is bigger. The acceleration is upward. And uh, we write net force equals to ma. The net force is the bigger side minus the smaller side. 3456 minus 800 equals to ATA. So our acceleration would be 33.2 meters per second squared. So that's a large acceleration. And that, since our g is 10 meters per second squared, this is about 3.3 g. Sometimes we hear about g-force. Remember we talked about that we feel acceleration. To provide this big acceleration, there has to be a net force. And that net force, since the acceleration is 3.3 g, that means the net force on the person is 3.3 times the person's normal weight. Now let's take a look at this force constant k, that is 32 newtons per meter. This means that it only takes 32 newtons to stretch the bungee cord by one meter. Do you remember we talked about k being called the spring constant or stiffness constant? The stiffness part can somehow be misleading. Because for this bungee cord, the small k, 32 newtons per meter, does not mean this bungee cord is easy to stretch at all. The entire cord is 125 meters long. So if you pull on the cord with 32 newtons, it only stretches by 1 divided by 125.8 percent. 32 newtons can stretch the entire cord by 1 meter only because the bungee cord is very long. So it is probably more appropriate to call the little k spring constant or force constant instead of stiffness constant because strictly speaking, it is only meaningful for us to use k to compare the stiffness of springs if they have the same length.